Oh, she is a mother of eight and runs a <laughs> blog with great low cost DIY projects. Several months ago, she showed us how to paint with peeps. That's right. Kristen Gambasini has a new book out because, you know, a, a mother of eight really has nothing else to do. <laughs> so she wrote this book called Crafty Family Ideas, Projects to Make, Things to Bake, and Lots of Homemade-ish Fun. She joins us now this morning. Good morning to you, Kristen. Good morning. So we're making sidewalk chalk? We are. I know. A lot of parents at home are probably wondering, like, why in the world would I make this when I can just go to the store and get sidewalk chalk for, like, a dollar? And I hear you. I get that. But at the time this recipe was created, it was in the middle of the pandemic, and you couldn't find sidewalk chalk anywhere. Yeah. Everybody was out buying that stuff, trying to keep their kids busy. Yes. So even though it's not necessarily something you need to do this summer, it's something fun to do this yes, summer. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So let's get started. Yes. Yeah, so you need your basic supplies are so easy we've got our plastic popsicle molds which are you know you can find these even at the dollar store yep. and yeah, you need some there. hot water hot mm -hmm. water you got your hot water yep you need some plaster powder which is um also known as like plaster of paris plaster and of paris, then you need yeah. some non-stick cooking spray we okay. don't have that but we have some oil got right some here oil. that's Hold okay right there where, oh right it's there. right here okay yep got All it right. perfect and then you need um the last thing is food coloring got your, it. whatever color food coloring you want so you need two cups of your plaster powder and you want to make sure that you are um mixing it in something plastic or something or like a bowl that you're not like okay. cherishing because it might it might stick to it pretty good okay we're gonna so you need your two cups of yep. plaster powder okay. Which I already have mine here already measured up. Uh -huh. So what we did was we're going to cut it. Can we cut it in half because our bowls yeah. are not that big? Yes. And yes. keep in mind, in we're journalists, so we don't necessarily do numbers correctly, Kristen. That's so okay. if you just want to have the recipe for us. One do cup it. is perfect. <laughs> so then we will do, you need about a half a cup to a cup of hot water in each of those bowls. Right. And we're going to start mixing it up with a spoon or a popsicle stick or something right. like that. And we're making like, we want it to be soupy. Was that, it, you want to okay. make like a soupy mix. So is that one cup to one cup? Or is it one? Uh, start with a half cup of water All and right. then add more if it's not quite, quite soupy. Okay. Okay. What kind of soup are we talking about? Thick. Clam chowder soup? Are we talking about like... <laughs> Uh, let's like, like a cream of mushroom. Cream oh, of mushroom. Oh, mushroom. done. Okay. okay. Yeah. Thank all you. Right. That gives me. Okay. So once you've got it mixed up, all you do is add your food coloring, whatever color you want. Okay. So if I'm going to do blue because I think it really stands out and makes a nice color. Okay. Uh -huh. And you mix that in uh -huh. and make sure it's mixed in pretty good. And the kind of cool thing is if you don't mix it in all the way, yeah. um, it looks like yours might need a little bit more water. It's not quite soupy enough. Yeah, okay. I'm just trying to whisk it in here a little bit. But you need some more yeah. water? No, yours is soupy. Soup. I don't know. Yeah, Cream of mushroom. Yeah. It looks like we Basically, have the mushrooms you in there. Be able to, you want to be able to pour it into your container. We don't oh, want to spoon okay. it in. We want to pour it in. Right. See, I'm going right. to mix Oop. mine. I'm, see, look at you. That's why you have on a... I'm going to do some blue. I'll do some, I want to do some red, too. All right, you do yeah. that. Oh, that'll make so perfect, got, right? That looks like a horror movie. All right, that's yeah, no. great. <laughs> yeah. So Excellent. once you've got it all mixed, yeah. you want to make sure you put some of your nonstick oil or your spray inside of your plastic containers, because this will just help the chalk release once okay. it's dried overnight. Mm -hmm. And once you're done mixing, you just want to pour it into your container. I'm telling you guys, that's it. That's all you do. And you put the lid on it, uh -huh. let it sit overnight, okay. yep. pop it out, and the kids have this adorable chalk to play with. And this actually lasts a bit longer than regular chalk does, I've noticed. All right. Okay, let's see what yours looks like. You need to put a whole bunch. So, in you. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this here, but mine is very see, mine is like a like a real Wow. Like a soupy. like a yeah. soupy soup. Oh, but okay. it doesn't matter because as long as your plaster powder's in there, it's gonna dry. But it okay. makes these, look at this. And then they've got the handle nice. that they can use when they're coloring. And you can reuse these. So once they've used up the chalk, you can make more. I love this project. My kids love it. And again, at this point, it's just for fun. I yeah. realize you can go out and buy it, but tell us something about, you can do with your kids. Tell us about some other stuff that you got in the book. Yeah. 
So my book is separated seasonally. So you have fall crafts, winter crafts, spring, summer. And what I love the most about the book is that it's not just a DIY step one, step two, step three. It's recipes and mom tips and crafts and home decor. And it's just really fun and colorful. And it's not the kind of book you have to start on page one and read through. You can flip to whatever season you're in. Oh, okay. And there you go. all ages. I mean, my kids are all ages. I've got elementary school. I have toddler, elementary school, middle school, high school, and college. Cool. So wow. this isn't just for one age group of child. This is truly for anybody who has who has kids or grandkids and is just looking for activities to keep the family busy. What about adults like this one? <laughs> talking about Shawnee. <laughs> <laughs> We're not yeah, talking about actually, mental capacity. No, it's okay because it's really easy to read. So okay. you'll do fine. This is, All right, Kristen. Well, this is this fun is oiling fun. these up. That was nice. Thank right. you so much, Kristen. Kristen thank you. We're going to Once again, keep the on book working. is called Crafty Family Ideas. For more information on this DIY crafts, you can visit her website, Kristen Gambaccini blog.com. You can also follow her on Instagram. Thanks, Kristen. I think it's Gambaccini. Thank you, guys. Have a great day. You too. Thank you so much. Bye -bye.